powerful, persistent, complex, diverse, capable, underestimated, beautiful, considerate, ambitious, unique, passionate, tough, should have been done a long time ago. I'm a feminist because I'm tired of my four little sisters having to hear about the sexual assault cases on the radio on our way to church. I think that men and women should make up one force and that women are strong and powerful and that the men who stand with them are too. When a lot of people hear the word feminism, they think, oh, the super loud, outspoken, liberal girl who doesn't shave her armpits or legs and thinks she's better than guys. This is a huge stereotype. Really, if you think guys and girls should be equal, then you are a feminist. It's, uh, it's not needed anymore, and ever since the Equal Pay Act of 1963, I feel like it's been completely blown off as a topic because um, even though it's acquired by law, a lot of big businesses will uh, change the title of a job given to a woman even though they're doing the same workload as a man. I think a huge thing that's often forgotten about feminism is that it also is about supporting men and what they want to be, whether that's being masculine and strong or the opposite, being emotional and vulnerable. The exception is that men can't be feminists. It's not about hating men. That's ridiculous. It is uh, the association of feminism with like radical protesting. It's like if the same happened to a man, uh, men would speak their minds. We we would feel the same way. We would feel unfairly treated, just like women do. My struggle I personally face is trying to prove myself to men. Women have been trying to fit into this ideal image for men and felt that they needed to change themselves to be appealing towards men. And I don't, I don't know, I just think that that's BS. <laughs> A struggle women face today is feeling less beautiful or unaccepted for altering their appearance in any way or straying from cultural norms, such as getting facial piercings, getting tattoos, or coloring your hair. Jokes about women belonging in the kitchen and others along those lines. I find it degrading and it discredits what women are capable of. Um, one of the biggest pieces of advice that I get when telling adults in my life that I'll be traveling to foreign countries next year is to be safe and be more aware and more careful because I'm a female and I guess I just I want to live in a world where being female isn't associated with weak and easy to take advantage of. A big struggle today and in today's society, especially in high school, is women being objectified by men and sometimes by each other too or just being seen as objects. We face fear just like every day with simple stuff as like going to the bathroom or walking down the street and there's the whole thing about how girls go to the bathroom in groups or they go places in groups which I think when you realize it's, it comes almost from like a point of fear because you don't know what could happen when you're going alone. At my last job I was sexually harassed pretty frequently by one of my co-workers and I was always just really uncomfortable with it and it was really hard to deal with because I didn't want to tell my boss because I didn't want to make a scene and I didn't want my other co-workers to not like me or think I was being overdramatic so 
When I talked about it to my friends or other people that I worked with, I always kind of laughed it off. I felt like that was the only option that I had and that there are so many other women around the world that felt like they had the only option like that. I don't think that anyone should have to feel like that. I can't. I'm like, I'm scared of just pushed away and tried not to recognize it as what it actually was and I think that that's really sad that I had to force myself to do that just to feel comfortable going into work. A role model of mine would be Margaret Sanger because in 1960 despite the controversy around women's reproductive rights she continued to fight for women's reproductive rights and opened the first birth control clinic. My female role model is Ashley Graham. She's a plus size model who challenges what society believes to be the ideal body type. My female role model is my grandma because she created several successful businesses before even going to college. And she has taught me to be hardworking and strong in order to obtain success. My female role model is Emily Doe. Um, she was raped by Brock Turner and he was only sentenced six months in jail and released after three. Um, she's one of those people who took all of her pain from an awful life experience and turned it into hope. I think that she gave a voice to a lot of girls who hadn't found theirs yet. My feminist role model is my mom because she taught me how to be selfless, kind, and respect everyone. Still beats for you, even though you don't feel it.